John Workington here from Michael's Camera. Today I'm going to go through a little bit of a training video on how to use the Blackmagic Web Presenter in a simple two camera production in a streaming environment. So we've got two Panasonic PV100 video cameras here and we've got the Blackmagic Web Presenter and the complete collection of cables and adapters that you would hire from Michael's if you wanted to do a simple two camera production. Now, obviously I don't have any tripods handy here. We got you covered for tripods. All that stuff's easy because we've got lots of stuff to hire. But what I want to describe is the whole process of how do we use the web presenter. So first order of business, on the back of the web presenter, we, are, we have a collection of different types of inputs. The web presenter will take two live feeds from cameras. One will be HDMI and the other will be SDI. So your standard HDMI connectors are this style, the sort of fat, sort of silver guys, or gold colored. Uh, these are what's on most video cameras and television sets, and many computers have HDMI connectors on it. So these are the full size style, and the PV100 Panasonic video cameras, if you look back here, they have a full size HDMI connector on the back. So very simple cables are required for those. But this is where things get a little bit different. The second input on the web presenter is an SDI connector, and that is this style, and they're called a BNC cable. They are the professional standard, and they give you both because you might just be using the web presenter in a one camera environment for simple streaming, and it gives you the option to either use the HDMI input for standard consumer cameras or the SDI for professional cameras. Now, these are a consumer camera, very affordable, easy to use and they are HDMI. So when you want to use two of those with the web presenter, we use the small Blackmagic micro converter, which lets you take HDMI and convert it to SDI so that two HDMI cameras can feed the web presenter because one will need to be using the SDI input. So I'm gonna go through the whole procedure and we're gonna hook all this stuff up and run these two cameras and show you how we can dynamically switch between the two cameras in a simple two camera production, feeding the signal from the web presenter to a laptop. And I've got a small MacBook Air here in front of me. So the web presenter connects to the laptop through a standard USB, I think they're called B. It's the square format one that your old printer used to use. So everybody's got one of these cables and of course the cables provided when you hire. So let's get this stuff hooked up. We're going to plug in the USB connector to the back of the web presenter. We're going to get some power applied to the web presenter. Let me just get this cable over here. Get that. There's no power switch on the web presenter. When you apply power, it just turns on. So that's good. starting to turn on now. And as you can see from the front panel, there's a small display here, a simple little control knob, and a few buttons that you can press to choose your menu and your set and camera A and camera B, actually camera one and camera two. So we'll get that all hooked up here. Plugging it into the USB port on our laptop. Now we'll plug in a HDMI connector from our first camera. We're gonna plug that one into the web presenter's HDMI input, which is on the bottom here, HDMI in. Okay, that takes care of that. Now our second camera, again, because it is HDMI, I'm going to plug in another HDMI cable here. And that one I'm going to plug into the micro converter, and it also needs power, and it's powered through a USB micro connector, and there's a little connector here, a little power supply, so let's get that plugged in. So bottom there, get the wire unstrung here, plug that into my power bar. Get that powered up. Oh, got it upside down, there we go. There we go. As you can see, there's a little power light here when this is powered on, so you'll know that's all good. Now, I've got a long SDI cable here, which is in the higher kit. So I'm going to plug one in into the output. Now, there are two outputs on this. You only need to use one of them, but they're designed. They can drive a monitor and a, um, you know, a, into a recording device or a web streaming device all simultaneously. Now, this is going to go into the SDI input, which is the bottom one nearest the power plug. So I'll get that in here. It's a little bit difficult when you're trying to do this explanation live on video, but we'll get it there. Okay, now we're plugged in there. Let's get this video camera turned on, our first one, get our second video camera turned on. Oh, I've got 
Let's see where they connect. There it is. Okay. Now, we've got video signals through here. So, if I hold up the web presenter here, you should see that we are on camera one. And as I press this button, we should go to camera two on the screen. If I press the button, we go back to camera one. So you're probably looking at pictures of Daffod, who is operating the other video cameras. So, let's verify that's all happening. Yes, there we go. And now I'm going to open up the lid on my laptop here. Let's get ourselves logged in. So, the web presenter is currently plugged into the USB port on the laptop. The web presenter acts as a webcam. The same as the little camera on the lid of the laptop. It's a system resource. No software is required. So I'm going to just run QuickTime on the Mac here because QuickTime is always built in and it will see any webcam that is connected. So let's go into QuickTime and that will run. Give it a sec here. There we go. Now we're going to go new movie recording. And we see that we have on our screen a signal coming from one of the cameras. So it's this one here. So I put my hand in there and you see that's the live signal. So if I go to the web presenter and I switch from camera one to two, let's get that power cable out of the picture here. There we go. If I can zoom out a little wee bit on that, you can see there's Daffod. I'll zoom out on the second one a little wee bit. Now we go from camera one to two and we will get a nice smooth transition. We'll go back to camera one. So that is ready to stream. Any application, Wirecast, Livecast, Facebook just on the web, uh, Skype, FaceTime, any application on a computer that can use a web camera can use the Blackmagic web presenter. And all you gotta do is have your two signals set up. If you have the cameras are manned and on tripods interchanging, and you basically can switch from camera one to camera two with the simple front panel controls on the web presenter. Now, needless to say, I'm not producing a great looking product here from these two cameras. I'm just looking at the other side of the room. But we actually have two cameras that are identical to these plugged into the bigger brother of the web presenter over here at our production desk. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're switching between those two feeds. One's a wide view of me at the desk. One's a little tighter view in of the products I've got. And we've got a third feed coming from the laptop here so that we can show you what we're putting out from the web presenter into this other broadcast. So we're using three inputs on our bigger system. It's called the ATEM Television Studio. But the web presenter is a very useful product that gives you the ability to have two camera feeds simultaneously running and you can go from A to B with a nice smooth transition into a broadcast. So that kind of covers it. If I wanted to, I'll show you here in QuickTime. And when I click on the little QuickTime selector, these are the available webcams that I've got. So you see that there's the Blackmagic web presenter from uh, a camera selector, as well as for audio. Now, if you're going to stream, you gotta make sure that the audio signal is from the same thing. So I've actually got the internal microphone on the laptop. I should have actually had that at the web presenter. So I'll get back now. If I go into that same setting, you see I've got video coming from the Blackmagic web presenter and audio. But I can also flip over here on the computer and just bring in the original webcam, which is the screen, which has got me looking right at you here. So it's just a system resource. Doesn't matter whether it's Linux, Mac, or PC. If the software supports web cameras, it will see the Blackmagic web presenter as a system resource and you can just use it. Any software probably written in the last 10 years can use the Blackmagic web presenter. So that's the beauty of the system. So, some other applications for it? Well, you could have the one video camera plugged into the SDI connector, and the second source could be a laptop. If you wanted to do software demonstrations with it, you'd plug the HDMI output of your laptop, very similar to what I've got here. I've got the HDMI output through the little dongle from the MacBook Air. That could be plugged into the HDMI input of the web presenter, and I could then have my screen as part of the broadcast, and then every now and then when I wanted to have my head, you know, whatever the camera's looking at me, or my environment, or what I'm shooting, what I'm talking about, I could just go back and forth between the two. So it's very easy to use multiple, you know, types of video inputs. The only conditions are that the inputs have to be the same frame rate. So in the case of these video cameras, they're running at 25 frames per second, which is a good 
uh, frame rate to use in Australia so you can gather as much light as possible. And the web presenter then uh, converts that into a USB web stream which then can be fed to any software that can, that can handle it. Uh, if one of the cameras was set at a different frequency, the thing would get a bit confused and it wouldn't be able to do the transition. So that's the one condition. You've got to make sure that both of your signals are the same format. So if you're going to hook it up to the computer, you've got to make sure that your computer is running the same frame rate as your camera. So, but that's all standard. Almost any switcher system has to deal with that. So that's nothing new. Anyway, there's a, basically a good simple little introduction to the Blackmagic Web Presenter. I'll just show, bring it back up into my hand here so you can get a good look at the front panel and we will switch again between our two camera feeds. So camera one, and go over to camera two, and go over to camera one. So it's very simple to use, and that is the process for wiring it all up. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we hope you uh, have a great success when you hire the web presenter from Michaels. Take care, we'll see you next time.